it going folks this is Wayne Hall back with a technique lesson today and today I'm going to show you a nice sort of simple sort of uh, trick on a G chord and a C add 9 chord by doing some little sort of hammer-ons off open strings and putting together what is sort of a little lick around some basic open chords sounds really cool it's actually used in a lot of songs you hear it Neil Young used to do this sort of thing loads so uh, I think it's a good sort of exercise to sort of break down and have a look at so uh, we'll get to that in a moment uh, thanks for your continued support thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so now if you are subscribed and you haven't done already please hit that little notification bell you'll find just underneath the video there so you can keep up to date with all the videos that are put out my patron page you'll find a link to that in the comments also a link in the description and the way that that works is click on the link sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month for however much you guys want to pledge it's all up to you all generally goes back into the lessons and it gives you guys access to a lot of the usual stuff that i do so if you're into the song choices that i do all the chords lyrics and strumming patterns are up there to pretty much everything i've done over the past just over three and a half years now the stuff to coincide with some of the technique lessons are done so if you're into the scales and blues stuff there's some exclusive videos that are on youtube and a lot of videos from the archive so what you're waiting for link in the comments link in the description if you don't want to do that and you'd like to show some appreciation in a different way i've got a new feature which is a super thanks link you'll find that just underneath the video there you can click on that and make a small donation and if you want to please go over and give me a like on social media so i'm wayne argito on facebook twitter Instagram and now also TikTok as you always say I'm trying to get down with the kids anyway that's enough of me rambling without further ado let's get to it okay so to play this uh, exercise you're going to need your guitar in standard tuning okay and the three chords that I'm using are going to be a G chord now I'm doing the four fingered G uh, we're also going to do a C add nine a little turnaround chord on the D we're all going to a D sus four then back to a D then back to a C add nine back to a G again okay so we start off strumming the G we get this okay and we get this little riff so what we're doing on the G chord there we're keeping the two fingers on the bottom so we can switch quickly back into the chord again but I'm playing an open A string and I'm putting my first finger onto the second fret so what we get is and we're going to do the same on the D string underneath and then we're going to play an open D going to go back to the second fret on the A string so open A hammer on to the second fret open D hammer on to the second fret play an open D string again and then play the second fret on the A string so what we get is a okay then when we switch to the C add now we're going to do exactly the same thing only this time we're hammering from an open D to the second fret same on the G open hammering on to the second fret playing an open G and then back to the second fret on the D so okay and then we're going to go to a D chord put into a D sus4 putting a little pinky on the third fret on the top B string and then off again then back to the C add 9 okay so that's it so I'll play that really slowly so you can see how that gels together so starting on the G we got a so thanks very much for watching hope you all dug that and uh, i just wanted to show you something a little bit different outside of the song lessons just something that you can impress your friends with and uh, it's good practice practicing those hammer-ons and those little techniques as well so hope you guys dug that occasionally i like to throw these technique lessons out there something a little bit different obviously i'm a big fan of the blues so there's a lot of blues stuff that are put out as well as i said it's just something outside of the song lessons to give you guys something a little bit different and there's stuff to coincide this on my patient page as i said in the intro there's a link to that in the comments link in the description if you want to click on that and sign up 
Uh, thanks everyone who subscribed and continues to do so. As I said about the notification bell, if you want to keep up to date with all the videos, also down there is that super thanks link if you'd like to make a small donation. Uh, again, very much appreciated. And another way that you could help me out, this doesn't cost you guys a penny, but it's very, very effective. I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you dig what I do, please like and share my lessons, tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays a guitar, please put them in my direction. I'd really appreciate that. So that just leaves me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching, whether it be morning, day, night, thank you very much, and I'll catch you all for last very soon. Take care.